Yes, I think you'll find we've got enough clearance, Gordon. That all, sir? Yes, thanks. Oh, by the way, send Mr. Ryder up as soon as he arrives, will you? Mr. Ryder? Is he back? Yes, he phoned up to say that he was throwing up the job. Anything wrong? Not with the work, Gordon. Some domestic trouble, perhaps. We all experienced that. Ah, you can't have an attractive wife like Molly Ryder for nothing, you know, Gordon. No, I suppose not, sir. Hello, Ryder. I was just telling Gordon you were back. Well, you're not very friendly tonight, Molly. Sorry. <laughs> Nobody would think we were running away together. I've changed my mind. But you can't do that. I've got full control of my own actions, haven't I? So have I, and I don't intend to be made a fool of. Not a particularly charming tone for persuading me. Yeah, but look here, Molly, you can't back out now with your luggage packed and everything. You'd feel a fool even to yourself. Better to feel a fool to oneself than to everyone else. Yeah, but why the change? I can't explain. I'm wondering more why I ever agreed to. Yes, but you did agree. I've got letters to prove it. I must have those letters. You promised to give them back to me. Well, all right, all right. I'll give them back on the journey. Your lack of discretion that gives me cold feet. Well, because of those silly letters? Yes, still is the word. And there's something else. All my luggage being labelled Windermere. I thought it would simplify things. And I think it might complicate things. If you're worried about a few luggage labels, we'll soon alter that. Waiter. This is Bill. Inspector, a couple, Windermere. But we don't go there. Two seats for Mr. Morris Windermere. Oh, I see. Talk. Inspector, can I have this seat? Sorry, sir, they're all engaged. I particularly want this one. That's different. I always keep a few spare seats up my sleeve. What's the name? Lord Peter Whimsy. Are you travelling tonight, Lord Peter? Yes. On the boat, sir. Where to? The boat? Fancy getting on a boat train not knowing where you're going. Fancy getting on some trains knowing where you're going. Crime slackening off? No, tightening up. You know, Lord Peter, when you come in here one or two days in succession, I begin to get ideas. That's very nice of you. I'd leave any place you were staying at. Oh, that's not so nice of you. I should expect a gruesome crime or something. But I haven't been convicted yet. No, but you've had plenty of other people convicted. You're an optimist. Murders only come my way once in a while. Occasionally an odd spot of blackmail, though. Tell that porter mind to hurry, sweetheart. What about that porter for room nine? That's a nice looking chap. Who, Mr. Windermere? Not my type. Room number nine. Always has it. Mm. Who's the lady friend? Just another. <laughs> hey, you've got to take it round with a lift, you know. My sainted arm. What's the matter? I've seen a dream walking. Where? That porter. He's got creases in his trousers. Well, you don't miss much, do you? Why the hell can't you be on time? Thought I'd take my own time to come and tell you that no payment's due. What are you getting at? You. Did you get that job? I got it. All right, then. You give him the money and get out. Not this time. I'm not here to argue. You're only small fry, but you're not bad security. You couldn't hold a job for two hours if I decided to stop you? You won't let things leak out. And I'm not security any longer. I know how to shut your mouth. Blackmail victim turns blackmailer, eh? It's darned awkward, you know, Ryder. The committee must have a report on this work. And put someone else on it. Yes, but if you'd warned me you were thinking of throwing it up, there wasn't time. But why? I'd rather not go into it. Nothing serious, I hope. I can't explain it. 
We must just accept the fact. You realize, of course, that this may make it difficult for me to put more of our consulting jobs in your way. I realize it. It's no good discussing it any further, then. Not for the moment. Well, Molly's glad you're back, I suppose. She doesn't know yet. Goodbye. Goodbye. You pay up, or within a week you'll be longing to get out of the country. We'll see about that, Windermere. I'm through. And if you try any funny business, I shall hand out what's been coming to you for years. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, yes, I will. You wouldn't risk your neck a second time. No, I wouldn't I? What? You sent for me, sir? Oh, yes, sir. You haven't got much time, sir. Is all the stuff ready? Pay this bill for me and uh, come back for the luggage in ten minutes. Very good, sir. Mr. Windermere's room is number nine, isn't it? Yes, madam. Is Mr. Windermere in? Yes, I think so. He's going on the boat train. You might find out, will you? Just a minute, sir. I'll be done. I'll bring up Mr. Windermere and tell him I can't wait. He said he'd be down in a few minutes, sir. But I can't wait one minute. His room number's nine, isn't it? My name's Ryder, and I'm going to have a talk with you, Windermere, so you might as well let me in. If you don't open this door, I'll break it down. What do you want? I want to know where Molly is. I think you made a mistake. I hope so. Who do you want to speak to? I suppose you'll tell me next that this isn't room 9 and that you're not Windermere. Yes. And that's not my wife's dressing case. And what about these? Oh, well, what do you intend to do about it? I'll tell you when you tell me where Molly is. She's on the train. Hmm. Gonna make a long stay of it, eh? The row won't do you or Molly any good. It'll do me a lot of good. You suppose I've come all this way and thrown up a perfectly good job to congratulate you? I tell you, it won't do you any good. We'll talk about that later. Do any other people know about this? Not unless your wife's told anyone. Well, she's told people she's going abroad, and she is, with me. Give me the ticket. Letters to what? And my wife's letters. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Don't bluff. I've heard about your particular kind of blackmail. You don't suppose I carry them about with me, do you? Yes, I do. And are you going to give them to me or must I search you and your luggage? Right. Now, don't do that. I'll look for them. That's better. You mean these? Yes. Well, now will you get out? In a minute. Are you going now or do you want to be thrown out? Well, what else do you want? Just this. <coughs> now you can take your things and clear out. Send the luggage port up to room nine, please. Maybe it'll look better if you sent my wife's luggage down. Yeah, well, you'd look better if you cleaned yourself up a bit. Thanks, Mr. Windermere. Your husband's running into this fine lady. Here it is, my lord. It's not very clever of you, Bunker, a non-smoker and a trainload of peat. It's the one you wanted, my lord. Uh, Mr. Windermere's. Oh, good. Excuse me. Let me have the dogs, dear. No, it's no use, George. I can't leave them. Oh, dears. Don't wait, Bunker. But you're not very experienced at travelling alone, my lord. I know, but in this case, you may be more valuable at this end. Uh, excuse me. Uh, are you Mrs. Windermere? What's the matter? Well, everything's on the train, Mum. This is Mr. Windermere's case, and his keys are inside it. Oh, thank you. Is Mr. Windermere on his way? Well, if he isn't, he'll be missing it. I shut the window. This is a non-smoker. Oh, oh. oh no, it's so lucky. Tickets, please. Now, Mummy must give the ticky wiki. I'm afraid Mr. Windermere's missed it, Inspector. Hello, tickets. Oh, I ran that pretty fine. Jack, how did you get here? Along the corridor. Madam, you're... Your peaky weeks. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought they were yours. Hey, not at all. No. I, I don't wear them. Take your seats for the first dinner, please. Come on, Daddy, I'm hungry. Oh, just a minute. I've got a cinder in my eye from that window. Windermere won't be able to join us. He's um, unavoidably detained. Oh. You're not disappointed, are you? No. No, it's just as well. There seems to be some mistake. There's no seat booked for him. I hope they got your luggage all right from room nine. Yes. Yes, the porter told me he...
We'll be away quite a time, shan't we? Shall we? Nice little chaps, if they are chaps. Hmm. Peaks have a lot of courage, you know. Your collar seems to be worrying you. I've got a stud in my luggage. No, oh, it's all right, thanks. What's happened to it? The buttonhole's gone. Oh, I got a buttonhole. I just go and get it. It's gone. They had to do it. Jack, what on earth are you doing here? That's a question I should be asking you. Hadn't we better talk in the corridor? This is a pretty bad business, Molly. It must seem to be. Seem to be? You running off to the continent with a man just because you've been left on your own? Couldn't be much worse, could it? It couldn't appear much worse. I realize that. The man's a crook, too. What do you mean? I heard rumors. That's why I came hurrying back. I behaved like a fool a few weeks ago. Now I've come to my senses and I'm trying to put things straight. You also wrote him some indiscreet letters. No. Are these the ones? Have you read them? No. This is all they mean to me. So much for them. Now how about ourselves? Jack, I know I didn't look it. But actually, I was thankful to see you just now. A little difficult to believe, but I'll try. I feel like a criminal caught in the act. Well, let's try and feel like two people going on a holiday. I was desperate. I'd have done anything to get those letters back. While they were in existence, I felt they were a kind of barrier between us. I suppose it's too late for you to believe that. No, I believe you. What did you say to Morris? Oh, I told him exactly where to get off and uh, borrowed the tickets. As far as we're concerned, Windermere's dead. Come on, Jack. Here's that driveling idiot again. Sorry, I've had no luck. The guard says we're going to have a frightfully smooth crossing. Oh, does he generally know? No, he's never crossed in his life. Well, I'll be glad when we're over and through those foreign customs. I quite agree. Those the old Spanish ones that really find you out, don't you think? Thank you. These are the ones we want. Open, please. Yes. This one and that one. But we're not taking those. I cannot have that, monsieur. We don't want them. We're not interested. They'll have to be open. Well, can't you, can't you put them on the boat and send them back here? I'll pay you for it. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot do that. I shouldn't make any trouble, Jack. Here are some keys. Yes, but what is the sense of standing around here watching him open other people's luggage? This one, monsieur. All right. I tell you, I don't know anything about this, and in any case, none of these keys will fit, so you can't open it. It will have to be detained. Just what I suggested in the first place. As far as I'm concerned, you can dump it into the harbor. Come on, let's go. Here's a key, officer. I say, it'll save you a lot of trouble if you stay.
It's Morris. You killed him. Molly, pull yourself together. Oh, why did you? Don't talk nonsense. It's not Windermere. I tell you it is. That's not the man I saw. Good name, please, sir. Bunker. Funny name, isn't it? Book room nine, station hotel, and take possession immediately. Whimsy. Oh, we're red, sir. We're red. But don't you understand? That's not my trunk. Naturally. No one would claim it. We are in touch with your yard of Scotland. You will probably be escorted back to England by the next boat. Then I'd better go with them. You, monsieur? Yes. Here's my card. Lord Peter Vimsey. Enchanté, milord. Enchanté. We're both in the same trade. You will go back in the nick of time. Another crossing? I must come of a seafaring family. Par ici, voulez-vous bien, je vous en supplie, nous allons passer par là. Les gens n'en arrivent pas. Faites attention. Euh, nous, naturellement, nous verrons. Sorry, but I don't seem able to concentrate. I'm glad. I've fired Bob Gown already. Well, we won't be long now. My arrivals in London don't seem too happy lately. Oh, you'll be all right once you've had a bath and a meal. They give you baths and meals at Scotland Yard. Well, just meals by the look of them. Know it well? Yeah, but it doesn't impress me very much. The chief inspector there, one Parker, is my brother-in-law. But hey, I haven't got some relations there. Yeah, but tell me, did you really kill Windermere? Now, look here, I've told you every detail I know about it. I know, but I forgot to ask you that small point. It's a pity you destroyed those letters. Fingerprints cannot lie. We're dead on time, according to my handcuff. Ask me to tell you that there's no need to take you to the yard, my lord, at the moment. That's very lenient of you. But won't you, old lad? Mon cher ami, j'ai le plus grand plaisir à voyager avec vous. Ça a été absolument charmant. It has indeed. I hope we meet again. Quel côté? Par où? Good evening, gentlemen. What's this bunker? Tossing the cable? Your man won't give up that weapon, sir. The porter found this, my lord, in a chair. How did you acquire it? I was fortunate enough to have some of your lordship's best brandy in the offing. Not the 1878. I regret, my lord, the 1878. Oh, lord. Handy little weapon. A crosshead cotter, my lord. Is there anything you don't know? I have a running knowledge of locomotives, my lord. Hmm. May we take the spanner, sir? What? Oh, yes, of course, yes. Yeah, but don't call it a spanner. Its technical name is a crosshead cotter. Oh, thank you, sir. Don't thank me. I didn't christen it. Bunter did. Did you find anything else beside the spanner? Crosshead cotter, sir. I won't argue. No, my lord, I hadn't time. Very good, my lord. I better take the number of this. What is it? LD17592. That's great. Well, you fellas are finished now, huh? Uh, thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Good, good night. night. Mr. Ryder. Of course. You went to the hotel, asked for Mr. Windermere, whom you'd never seen. Yes. Because you thought that he was running away with your wife. Must we go on and on right, with it? All right. I'm sorry, Mrs. Ryder. I can't see any use in continuing this discussion. I've told you my story and it's the truth. It won't change if we stay here all day. Just a moment, Mr. Ryder. We don't feel that. 
There's a very strong motive for you to have murdered Windermere, one of the most common motives. On your own statement, you admit that you went up to fight him and did so. Are you sure that you didn't do a little more than you intended? I did exactly what I intended, but to the wrong man. Uh, that's what you say. Mrs. Ryder, how was your luggage labelled? Mr. Windermere was going to alter the labels to my name. Hmm. But he hadn't time to before he was murdered. If I had killed Windermere, would I have travelled with the body? The longer you had the courage to keep that trunk, the better chance you had of getting away from here. With the key hanging on it? That wasn't your doing. In your haste, you forgot it. The porter state that they tried to get it out of the lock. You admit that you got on the train near the van your luggage was in. Wasn't that because you remembered the key and tried to get it? No! Oh, you didn't appear in Mrs. Ryder's carriage until the train was starting. What were you doing? Oh, I missed her walking down the corridor. You were hunting for that key that the guard found when he moved some luggage and tied it on the handle. That's a lie. Then tell us something that sounds like the truth. Where was Windermere when he had that fight which was heard by other people? How was it Windermere spoke on the phone to the office from his own room? And it would be very helpful if you'd tell us who took that trunk upstairs for you. Who did that for you? I've told you the truth and I'll tell you again. I asked for Windermere at the office, got impatient, went up to his room and found a man there who admitted he was Windermere. I settled with him and accidentally got that revolting trunk mixed up with my luggage. Hello? Yes, sir? Come in. Excuse me, sir. The Commissioner wants to see you now. All right, all right. He's just been on the phone to me. Why, anyone would think I was in the flying squad? Just see Mr. and Mrs. Ryder into the waiting room. Yes, sir. This way, please. You made up your mind, Parker? No, sir. Well, I do think we ought to arrest Ryder. You read the reports from the continent, sir? Yes, they do look rather damning. Looks as if he tried to make a getaway at the customs. Yes, don't you think it's rather in his favor that he tried to get through the customs? What about his wife's exclamation when she saw the body? Yes, yes, I'm trying to agree with you there. If he thought it was much safer to lose that box over the other side than here, that's why he took the chance. Mm -hmm. Perhaps so. Courageous tactics. You'll detain him, sir. Mm. Seen Whimsy yet? No, sir. Hello. No, send him up. Talk of the devil. Yes, sir. What a nose that fellow has for a murder. Uh, yes, sir. Very nosy. Good morning, good morning. Hello, Wimsy. Been busy? Busy, my dear fellow. I went down to the works, took an engineering degree, learned everything about things going backwards and forwards, got to know everything about the guts of an engine and how it goes. What for? Only to find out it was obsolete and didn't go. <laughs> Parker's trying to persuade me to detain Ryder. Ryder? What on earth for? Oh, come, Whimsy. You don't mean to say you think we owe Ryder an apology. No, but detain Ryder and you haven't got a hope of catching the real murderer. Why? Why? Because Ryder's the only man who saw the real murderer. If there is another. It's a wonder you didn't see the other. I did. What do you mean, you did? Haven't you told the Commissioner? Not the porter with creases in his trousers? Then what's all this, Parker? Purely theoretical, sir. Well, what is it? What is it? Whimsy saw a porter with creases in his trousers carrying the trunk. You don't mention it here? It's on the back of one of those sheets. Oh, yes. Recognizing that trunk's no evidence, there are hundreds like it. Get the fellow who was dressed like a porter, except that he got creases in his trousers, and you've got the man. There are a good many men with creases in their trousers to check up on. I must ask right the name of his tailor. You can check up on what porter's outfits have been hired, bought, or lost lately. Any other points? Yes, Ryder's story rings true. Didn't he try to make a getaway through the customs? Well, of course not. Yeah, but the description reads like that. Well, so would any description of an Englishman abroad in a temper. Hmm. First one. No. Release Ryder and you stand a sporting chance of finding the murderer, who make a special point of tracking him down. Why? Why? Ryder's a perpetual menace to him. He could recognize him at any time. It's a dangerous line to take. All very theoretical. If there was another man, he's probably out of the country by now. Yes, but look here. This is the point you're all missing. We'd already got Windermere spotted as a blackmailer. Brilliant. Thanks very much. So you see, there are probably quite a number of people who would have murdered him if they'd had the nerve. That may be true. Therefore, whilst there's any possibility of an alternative, you must give Ryder the benefit of the doubt. What do you think, Parker? He can't. Well, then why not let Ryder shake a loose leg for a week or two? A week or two? We can't sit about waiting for results like that. Well, then a few days. No. I tell you what I will do. I'll give him 48 hours, and it's up to you to justify them. Good. Parker, go and tell the riders they're not wanted for the time being. I'll fix someone to watch them. I'll tell Parker to send whoever it is to see you, Wimsy, before he starts. And by the way, I've got to get on to the railway people again. One of their men might almost do it. 
The fact that you're a detective employed by the railway company makes it all the better from our point of view. You ought to be flattered. Anyway, you're not the only amateur on the job, which reminds me that you've got to report to Lord Peter Whimsey. He'll contrive to point Ryder out to you. Station Hotel, Room 9. You know, the room the murder took place in. Yes, of course, sir. Room 9. Morning. Pardon my talking to the man at the wheel, but what is my room number going to be? What it says, 7B. That's good. I never like being one over the eight. Fighter. Any messages? Detective Camberley rang up, my lord. He's reporting to you for orders. He'll be here any minute now. So soon? He said you were expecting him, my lord. Ah, well, Mr. Ryder's coming in. I don't want them to meet. It's always a pity to let a man know he's been shadowed. Yes, my lord. Oh, you found that, have you? No, my lord. Oh, I didn't know. Hello, hello. We are punctual. Any news? Not yet. You know, it's just occurred to me that this place must be mightily unpleasant for you. Yes. I wasn't exactly anxious to come here. Well, come over to the window and I'll show you where we'll meet. Over there, down by that bookstall, in a few minutes. Detective Campbell, eh? Yes. Inspector Parker gave you my detailed report. Yes. And told you not to read it, I suppose. Yes. Whereupon you promptly did. Yes, I did. Exactly. Well, you've really got all I have to say there. Unless there are any questions you want to ask. Uh, no, thanks. Well, won't you sit down? Thank you. Good thing you were a bit late, otherwise you might have bumped into Ryder. Yes, I, I saw him and waited. That's why I was late. Oh. Then you've had him pointed out to you. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, last night. At the All-In Wrestling? Uh, yes. Ah. If you'd like to refresh your memory, I'll point him out to you again. Uh, thank you, my lord. That's Ryder right, uh, down there, near the bookstore. I see. Is there anything else? No, I don't think so. Did you find the room all right? There are awful fools at directing people at some hotel. Did Inspector Parker tell me it was room nine. <laughs> Good morning, my lord. Good morning. Bunker. Hello. You see how easy it is to be mistaken. I thought there was a play we went to see last night. But according to Detective Camberley, it must have been an all-in wrestling match. Some of these modern plays are a bit near the knuckle, my lord. <laughs> I'll be that, Bunder. Phone downstairs to the inquiry desk from the other room and find out if Camberley asked the way to room nine. Very good, my lord. Hello. Yes? Hello, Parker. Hello. You want to see me? Oh, you don't want to see me, but you think you ought to. All right, old boy, have it your own way, I don't mind. Right, station master's office this evening. No, my lord, he didn't. Didn't what? Didn't ask at the office for room number nine, my lord. Oh, well, anyway, he must have bumped into something with that black eye. Well, they take a bit of dodging, my lord, them Belisha beacons. Yeah, well, remind me tonight, 6.30, station master's office. What about it, my lord? Oh, I don't know. Station master's office tonight, 6.30, if you prefer it. Have it your own way. Good, my lord. 
Well, don't worry, Mrs. Ryder. We'll find the real murderer. You're very cheering, Lord Peter. No. Any time you or your husband want to get hold of me, don't hesitate to come along. Well, that's very nice of you. Well, you must go, mustn't you? I know you've got an appointment. I hate leaving you. Oh, I shall wait here. Jack's coming in for me. Right now. Isn't it annoying waiting for trains? Yes, I suppose it is. Are you waiting for the 420? No, I'm not. I always come up every week and do a little shopping. Really? Shops seem to get more expensive and further apart every week. Dreadful thing this murder is, isn't it? Yes. My husband says he knows who did it. Knows? Says he does. Men are such know-alls, aren't they? But surely if he thinks he knows, he ought to go to the police. Oh, well, that's what I say. But he must. He doesn't want to lose his job. You see, he saw him when he ought to have been on duty at the works. Surely he ought to help the police. His firm will overlook that. Hmm. Oh, well, I think I'd better be going now. I don't know why I've been worrying you with all our troubles. Oh, please don't go. Perhaps I can help you. Where did he see this man? He won't tell anybody about it, will you? No, but I think you ought to. You see, my husband's night foreman at the railway works at present, well, on the night of the murder, he was in the station. Mm -hmm. and that's what he doesn't want to know about. Yes? Well, he saw a man carrying the trunk. How does he know it was the trunk? Just like the photograph in the papers. What was the man like? Oh, well, he couldn't see the man's face with the trunk. Mm -hmm. He did think it seemed to be a large trunk for a man to be carrying, and that it must be empty. Empty? Yes. You see, it was just about the time before the murder was committed. Well, then he hasn't much evidence to offer. Oh, well, that's what I say. Where is your husband now? Oh, he'll be on his way to the works now. The railway work? Yes. He's been wasting his time for years. This repair shop will be written on his heart when he dies. I said, never mind about that. It's a soft job and easy money. Isn't there anything else he could remember about the man? Well, first he remembers one thing and then another. But what sort of thing? I will say he always sticks to one point, sir. What's that? He noticed a peculiar mark on the hand of the man carrying the trunk. What kind of a mark? It's not a birthmark. It's round here. Oh. Oh, I know it's nice to go by. No, no, it isn't, is it? Oh, well, I shall be missing my train. It's nice to have a chat sometime. Yes. You won't tell anybody about what I've told you. Oh, no, I won't. It's so easy to imagine things. Hello, yeah, but we must hurry, Jack. We're late already. Goodbye. Oh, Molly, what's the matter? Who's that woman? We must get away from this place. All right. I thought it was a mistake meeting here. Yes, it was. I didn't know. Well, let's go. Is that all? Isn't it enough? Yes, if you did it as well as you say you did. That's all the thanks I get. I don't expect me to stay around here thanking you, do you? I never expected that from you. You swallowed it all? Yes, he was terrified. Convinced he did it all right. I don't like it, Henry. I don't think I'm enjoying myself, do you? I don't mind about Windermere. He was a beast. Those other people haven't done us any harm. It's us or them. You don't want us both hanged, do you? Supposing they tell the police. Well, what are you worrying about? You didn't wear that fur, did you? Yes, I did. You've gone crazy or something. Oh, I had the old makeup on. Or rather off. She'd never spot me again. It's you I'm thinking of. If she's been taken in, she'll persuade him to run for it without telling him. If he runs for it, okay. He's out of the way and looking pretty guilty, isn't he? Well, if he decides to go down to the engine works and investigate on his own... I'm shadowing you, aren't I? Give me a penny, will you? What for? Just to think. Molly, for goodness sake, sit down. You wear yourself out if you go on like this. I can't rest, Jack. 
I knew it was a mistake going to that hotel, but I thought it might reassure you to see Whimsy. It did. It was afterwards. Oh, Jack, let's try and get away. It's the least you can do for my sake. Do you think Scotland Yard would let me go? Let's try, anyway. I'll stick by you. Oh, Molly, stop talking like that. Jack, I know all about it. All about what? Everything. About the murder? Yes. Molly, what on earth are you talking about? That woman in the hotel. She knows. She knows? Her husband saw the man. Molly, this is marvellous news. Who is she? Where is she? I don't know. You don't know? Her husband saw the man carrying the trunk. But why hasn't he come forward then? Oh, he shouldn't have been in the station. He'd lose his job at the railway repair shed. Can he identify the man he saw? Yes. With a mark on his hand. Molly! So you see, we must try and get away. Molly, look at me. You don't believe this? What else can I do, Jack? She described the mark so exactly, it can't be coincidence. What's the man's name? I don't know. Well, who is he then? Well, he's night foreman at the repair shed or something. I'll get on to Scotland Yard at once. Oh, don't do that. Why not? Do you think I'm going to stay here and be accused by someone who can probably clear me? Please don't, phone. Please don't. His evidence can only complicate things. All right. I'll go down and find the man myself. No! I'll go to Scotland Yard afterwards. Then I'll come with you. You must let me. I can't stay here. Oh, very well. If you insist, come and wait for me at the station. Right. Then let's start at the beginning. No, thank you. Uh, talking about the spanner. Carter. Carter. Shakespeare. Edgar Allan Poe. Gracious, have you two been at it ever since we left the station master's office? By Jove, I must go. How's our detective functioning, Parker? Not at all, I expect. Like most amateurs. Not so much as the amateurs. Where did this fellow Campbell hail from? Well, I understood he was quite a small timer before he got this job. Had a job trying to stop a run of theft ahead of the engine works. Engine works? Now you've done it. Why? I say you're not going. Finish up the sherry. I haven't time. Good heavens, no time for shelter. Whatever's the matter with you? I'm a sea rider at once. Where will you be, Parker? The yard. Can you put somebody else on instead of Campbell, if I give you a ring? Now what bees are swarming in your bonnet, eh? I've got a few hours and a good idea. Can you hold an idea as long as that? You wait and see. Why don't you go home and wait? I'd rather wait here. <laughs> Tell me, do your detectives have much to do with the company's hotel? Oh, no, they've nothing to do with that part of our property. Oh, good. That's all I wanted to know. I must get a move on. Goodbye. Goodbye. If I'm not back within the hour, you better ring up Whimsy. Why? It's just occurred to me. Anyway, ring him up. Jack, there isn't any danger. What on earth are you doing here? Lord Peter, I was just going to ring you up. Good. Jack asked me to. That's very decent of him. He's gone to the railway work. The what? The railway... Re the rail... Tell me more. Do you mean to tell me that a strange woman you've never seen before in your life and isn't supposed to know who you are came along with that story? Yes. Good. We must be in on this. Thank goodness they've got more than one train on this line. Now, you wait there. Don't move. Finished with that, miss? Sorry. Come on.
I've got an idea. You stay here. And if you see anyone we've talked to in the last 24 hours, don't lose sight of him. Follow him. On a train, anywhere. You come with me, will you? What's the matter? Nothing, my lord. Well, why all that tic tac then? Thought you'd like to know Detective Campbell is on the train. Oh, would you? Your end. Not my end. Not mine, my lord. A train's only got two ends. <laughs> He's quite right, you know. People don't jump off the middle of trains. As good as any other part, my lord. What? You want some exercise? Certainly. Bunter. Come on, give us a hand. Come on, get back. Come on, with it. 
Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard. 